Good morning, everyone. It is six o'clock in the morning. We are going camping for a week. Adrian's coming over at eight o'clock. I gotta finish packing up the truck. I've been prepping the truck for the past month, getting little odds and ends and like putting things in to make sure we are ready. Um, I still have a few more things to pack in the truck because I couldn't really do it until this morning. And I probably will pack the cooler very last minute because I want that cooler as cold as possible. I basically froze a big large jug of water and it's a big ass giant ice cube right now. And I have a couple ice packs and some other ice to put in. But yeah, I prepped a lot of food for this trip, I'm not gonna lie. I'm almost regretting not wanting to, not getting a fridge for my truck, but I mean, that is really expensive and I'm not even sure how often I'll ever use it. I think the cooler will be fine for what I need it for. Um, but yeah, let's get ready. I kinda wanna pack, start packing the truck because I think I might move some stuff around, but yeah, let's go. the hat good it's 901 right on time yeah I know surprisingly only a minute late I can still somewhat see my uh, back window so it's good <laughs> <laughs> all right well hope you have everything because too late now <laughs> <laughs> I already I like planned what I was gonna pack for the past month and like prepping the truck and like grabbing little things I needed. It's always that thing where you're we're like 20 minutes down the road and it's just like, fuck, I know what I forgot. Well, as long as we're within town, we can probably pick it up, but I don't think I have anything that I can think of. I can already feel my car is very heavy. <laughs> <laughs> Are you vlogging? Yes. Do I dare ask whether or not you're ever gonna start your channel? <laughs> this one will come up. Famous last words. As always. How are you going to film this time compared to last when we went to Kamloops? Anything different or improved? Um, or? Yeah, just a little bunch of little lessons here and there that culminate to making things just way easier in post. That's where my issues were. So what are we getting here? Um, buns. Blackbird Bakery, Pemberton. Yep. All right, so we're gassed up, and now we are heading to where now? Uh, we are heading to a pass. Hurley Pass. Hurley Pass. Where do you think we'll be camping tonight? About? Uh, I'm, I'm thinking we'll be in and around Goldbridge. We might get in a little early, but that's okay. That's probably better to get in early to see if we can get a camping spot. Yep. Can you grab the corn nuts? Now I'm snacky. Now you're snacky. I feel snacky now. Please. Please and thank you. Right here coming down. There's that mountain in the back. We're going up there. 
we'll be coming down the other side into uh, Gold Bridge. Oh, that's okay. Where we're and that's when we're gonna start eating lunch. Somewhere up that's there. So yeah. Grizzly bear country. Feeding dangerous wildlife is illegal. <laughs> Good. Noted. <laughs> <laughs> I think we should be fine if it's like this. If it gets any more gravelly, then yeah, I'll we'll air down. Yeah. It's okay, now you know how to learn how to use my camera. But just air down. I had to re remember how to air down. Adrian was trying to guide me, but I was like, you're not explaining it well. The, the, good, the good old, I'm patient in the ways you aren't and vice versa. <laughs> yeah. But these views though. It's our first forestry road. Finally hit gravel. Yep. We are at, what is this called, Goldbridge? Uh, no, we're going towards We're Goldbridge. going towards Goldbridge. We're going up the Hurley Pass and we'll go back down into Goldbridge. Yeah. It's pretty nice. It's not as smoky up here. It is smoky down there, though, if you look. <laughs> yeah. As we get higher, it'll be less smoky. Yeah. How is that one? the same 21? 21. Perfect. All right, let's get back on the road. this valley a little bit more then the road's gonna do, do a big sweeping turn yeah back to the other side of the valley yeah and that's where we'll get on the main pass road that goes up and over okay cool we stopped a little bit to make some lunch and then I just noticed this. Ooh. Dirty. All right. Sandwiches? Sandwiches. Yeah. That was a good stop. High five. Yeah, we were further than I thought. There's that weird little TV. So, pop um, push is. We're a little off course. Only just a little bit, though. Where did that spit happen? Should I go back? Okay, so we're on East Hurley Creek. So I think that was that intersection that I thought was the campground. Yeah. And we were supposed to cross over and go to the other side. Now that being said... So it looks like we're gonna cut back a bit, cross a river, and then this looks, says it's a paved road. Are we still going forward or are we going yeah, back? we're going forward. Okay. We took a route that I wasn't expecting, but it may end up working in our advantage. You said you saw something right here? Yeah, right in this clearing here. You can see there's some old rusted out stuff right in here. Just on the other side of these trees, right there. Okay, so all is not totally lost. Nope. Well, it is an adventure, so at least we didn't work, we weren't too far off our path that we can get back onto yeah. the trail that we were on, so that's good. And we still have like a full tank of gas, so I wasn't too worried. <laughs> yeah. It is what it is. It happens. So we look like came across this old 
homestead, looks like. You see parts of the chimney. This is really cool. Burnt out chair. But, um, yeah. A little bit of a grate. The chimney. Is that the wood you're standing on? Yeah. Look, you can see the construction. Wow. Oh, this. Don't want to walk there. Oh, yeah. Mm. So it's actually not that old then. Mm, still could be pretty old. Still, though, you can see like. Yeah. Stove and stuff. That is actually kind of cool. They got two going. Which is great because I already lost two of these. We lost one and then the one in the front, the other side that I'm doing right now is missing. So it must have came off. It takes about like a minute or two, like two minutes. Up to two minutes, maybe three. You fill it back up from 21 to 32. It also helps to have another person do the other side as well, because otherwise it'll take forever. <laughs> Saw something while we were driving up that way, and I noticed this, which is really cool. This is also a place I think my nephews would really like. There's like trains and tractors here. Bray Lorne Volunteer Fire Department in this town of 69. Kronk still looks kind of clean. Evenly dirty. So this uh, resort here, that's what uh, Alex was saying, it has really good burgers, and that's why I was thinking we'd go for lunch tomorrow. Okay. We'd be there. Sweet. But we'll only be starting from here, or if that's full, any of these billion campsites in here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a lot. So we could even go to the campsite here, but it's also an RV. So there's tons. There's tons along right this way. Yeah. There. There. There, 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 <laughs> everywhere. Yeah, okay. Let's see if we can get one by the water though. That'd be kind of cool. Plus I was thinking this one because it's like a decent-ish sized yeah. lake. Yeah, we'll check that one out first right. and see. Little guy just hitching a ride. We're gonna go walk a little bit further out that way because I think that was a much better view of the valley just because I think I remember seeing a river go in between the two valleys and it was pretty sweet. So, oh look, there's like a random beer can just right there. Yeah. I'll pick that up when we come back. I'm gonna crush it though, so it's less. Just still a little bit in there. People, stop littering. I'll put it right here and then I'll pick it up. I think it's just after this bend and I think it opens up. And it's only 321 currently. And we've gone so far. <laughs> Found another one. Peep 
people and their trash. are looking for our campsite. We think we might have missed a turn so we had to backtrack. Adrian's just gonna walk down this area here just to make sure if it is towards the campsites or not or whether uh, Kron can actually fit through. But we know it's somewhere around here. It's just, you, th you think there would be a sign saying that these are where the campsites are, but. Yeah, so it's better safe for him to check it out first before I head down there in the truck, so. We'll see, hopefully it's there, because most of the campsites that we are going to be doing are, um, are by lakes and rivers, which is going to be great. So hopefully, hopefully it will be some epic campsites. Yeah. Well, oh, he's coming back. Oh, this battery's dying again, so this is a bad battery. I'll have to remember that for next time. It dies out pretty quick. Okay, so it's a no. Oh. So we're now figuring out where the next campsite is to see how far it is from because we're gonna leave here now. I guess if we can't see any another any turnoffs mm. on the going through. Mm. Just see the river this way. I actually wonder if that was it. What? I didn't even the see it. The pile of rocks. I think oh, it was pushed, blocked. They, yeah, it might be blocked because of road work. Oh. Well, it's a good thing it's only 4:14, so it's still pretty early. Yep. Still got some daylight. So yeah, how far is the next one? Ish. Uh, so we have to go basically go all the way back down to the bottom, and then what is this? But it does go up. There's nothing there. But like here, so there's a little black line, and it goes up. So there. Should we try it? Yeah, we can give her a shot. Give her the good old-fashioned college try. Campsites up there? Yes, there's um, four empty ones. Number three is the one you drive straight in and it goes right to the lake. That's perfect. Got a big trailer and a truck there. Oh, okay. But num or that's number four. Uh, number five is at the far end. You could probably drive there and this, and it's empty. Okay. Yeah. It's right by the lake. But number three is closer and. It's right by the lake too, and it's empty. Yeah, yeah. we can check it out. Yeah. Perfect. Thank you so much. Catch you later. Have Cheers. A good one. Have a good. How long you stand? One night. One night. Yep. If you have a fire, can you make sure it's cold before you leave? Absolutely. Yes, definitely. And then, uh, never leave it unattended. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely not. Okay, thanks. Thank you. Nice. Sweet. This is the road that we're supposed to go on. So luckily, yeah. thank God. Thank God he was coming down too. High five! Good stuff! All right. If I didn't say anything about that road, we would have just kept going. I know! Going. <laughs> but it still is really weird that it's not marked. It's just this road that shoots off. Yeah, because I was just like, yeah, we were trying to find the road, but we couldn't see it. And he was like, yeah. But it's good that we also are allowed to have a fire, but we just obviously have to make sure it's out. Yeah. Put out. Which is obvious. Basic fire rules. Basic fire rules, yeah. Yeah. So that's good. So we can actually have a fire. And hopefully, I wonder if they have a fire pit and it has a grill. I wonder if there's wood. Yeah, that too. We'll see how they do that. 
probably should have asked him, but oh well. All right, finally saw the signage. I think this way. See, this is definitely when the if Lake Campground BC Park <laughs> I'm just going, this is the, going towards the lake and it's more traveled. So there's an RV that got down here. <laughs> uh, yeah. Or a trailer. Yeah. There's the, which so site is this? That is, don't see a marker. I don't see a marker. Oh, there's a truck right there. Yeah. There's another site right here. Mm, invasive species after waters. Maybe that's why he said my truck can go make it through. Uh, maybe it's truck and trailer. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, well, it's probably that one he's talking about. I can see a picnic table. Yeah. Woohoo! I just gotta, um, I need to reverse the other way. Do you wanna get out and help uh, guide you? Yeah, I just need to, I'm gonna pull in this way a little bit and back up. So yeah, maybe get out a little bit and help me. Yeah. If you would be so kind. And plus it's probably better to back in anyways, so it's easier to get out. All right, guide me, friend. All right. Just crank it this way. Do I have room to like turn? Well, there's no point turning this way. So what am I doing? Uh, just turn this way. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Got like five feet. Keep going, keep going, keep going, stop. straight down and back up from here and then like line it up and then just park, like you're gonna park like right here still good yeah you're going way off to the side is this good your front's gonna draw up and you're starting to level out so this is done Good? Yeah. Let's check out the view. I know how to close the door. It's a nice breeze. Frogs. There's a little green one here. There's some more over there. <laughs> They're all over the place. Different colors. Where are you gonna set up your tent? Uh, looks like we only really have two options, so. Someone gets to be down there.
partner. So good to know that for my steak that I like it, it's eight minutes on one side and five minutes on the other. Yours was like eight minutes on one side and 10 minutes on the other and then another couple minutes on the other side again. So like 10 each, <laughs> probably. Something like that. Something yeah, like that. he likes this really well done. It's a crime. Day one, how'd you think it went? It's good. Pretty yeah. laid back day. I one. yelled at him one time. <laughs> yep. <laughs> one time. And like then instantaneously. Yeah, I was just, cause you weren't explaining it properly. I was like, I'm confused. I was explaining it, you just weren't understanding what I explained. Yeah, it. I wasn't explaining it. Yeah, didn't understand. Um, but we worked through it. Yeah. Um, missing two of the caps, the tires. Yep. You were missing one. When we were first um, airing down, and then we were airing back up and noticed we were losing, we lost another one. <laughs> it was like one there and that one. Was it? Uh, Diagonal from each other? I can see it's the front one. And the one back there on the so, passenger side? Driver, passenger, or driver front, passenger back. Yeah. So next time I'll know to go to Princess Auto or Home Depot and just buy a pack of those. Yeah. You because, also get like aluminum ones too. Oh, aluminum ones. Mm -hmm. Didn't know. You get them in different colors. Oh, we almost couldn't find this campsite because we went up one side road thinking it was that, but it was yeah. not. And actually, it. seeing the road up here going this way, yeah, that one we went up actually might have been it. Oh, really? But it's just, just had to go further. A way rougher road than yeah. coming in. Oh, maybe because if we were going, if we kept going down, he said the fifth one was like further down. Yeah. So we might have made up made it to the fifth site. Yeah. Possibly, but wherever that is. Anyways, the second time, and then we decided to go back around. It's like, well, we'll just go and find another campsite. And yeah. then you randomly just turned your head, like, oh, there's one that goes right there. I was like, oh, let's try it. It was very narrow. <laughs> and we ran into someone <laughs> almost instantly. <laughs> yeah, we ran into someone like two seconds in, and then backed up, and then he pulled over to the side. As you saw, he ended up being the fire warden, so which is yep. great. And we asked him, I was like, is there campsites up here? He's like, yeah, there's like four free ones. I'm like, great. And then he told us like a couple sites that were free that was right by the lake, which is perfect. Yeah. So, yeah, all in all, it turned out pretty well. We lucked out, learned some things um, about some of the stuff that I packed. I probably would have done a smaller water jug than to freeze instead of the large one. You didn't even need to do the a smaller one, just only like half fill it. Yeah. I'll know that for next time because yeah. I was just worried about the food not chilling because we have a lot of um, yeah. I have a lot of frozen food in there. Yeah. So yeah, we still have the chicken and the beef steak. Yeah. Yeah. If you like half or three quarter filled it somewhere, two thirds somewhere in there. Yeah. And then froze it and put it in like a cardboard box so it stays boxy. Oh my god, it's like flies everywhere. Um, I'm getting the smoke. In smoke. My, I'm getting the smoke. Yeah. Oh, I, the smoke's not bothering me. It's the flies. Oh, everywhere. I just went right in my eyes. So oh. Like, what do you want to eat for dinner tomorrow? Spaghetti, butter chicken. Um, the chicken we have to eat like ASAP. So butter chicken, butter chicken tomorrow. Sweet. And then there's uh, a lun lunch. Sure. We'll do that uh, burger place that Alex recommended. Yeah. We could also do it because we don't have that far to go to get to that resort. That's fair. We could do it as like burger or brunch. Okay. And then do like because the sandwiches aren't particularly large. No, but they're good. Just do snack one snack size. Do one to tide us over. Mm-hmm. And then do dinner. Yeah. But otherwise, I think the first day went pretty well. Yeah, we'll we'll stop in Lillooet. I think we're, I'm pretty sure we'll be hitting Lillooet tomorrow. We'll see. <laughs> I just went right into my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see how far we get tomorrow because we might just we could also. There's a few campsites between here and Lillooet. Can't wait for day two. Didn't kill each other yet, so that's good. Yep. We don't hate each other yet. So nope. That's good. Nope. <laughs> we'll definitely stop in a supermarket in Lillooet. Yeah, we'll probably get maybe a bag of ice by that point. 
Maybe we'll see how that big ice. I say that's is. a lot of ice you got. <laughs> <laughs> then maybe we'll just get like, like that's some half water. That cooler and that cooler. Maybe we'll massive. get like a, a thing of water. Yeah, we just need to get like a couple. Yeah. Because give it a. I did too well with my frozen <laughs> yeah. ice. Give it a couple days, and I think we'll be starting to melt pretty good. At least I know the the sauce and everything will still be frozen. <laughs> yeah. But um, sorry. It's, again, I'm learning, so this is good to take note for next time. Yep. But um, all in all, good day. Yeah. <laughs> Crisp. Crisp. All right. See you guys in the next video. Bye. Yeah. Oh, good. It's still recording. <laughs> <laughs>